6.09 exactly now. On Breakfast Television, we say good morning to our... So I never get your title correct, but uh, Winston, Winston uh, the social media the guru. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not an intern. Everybody thinks I'm an intern. I know, it's I know. He's good. not. He works here full time. <laughs> um, okay. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We're, we're talking about apps. We're talking about apps this morning. We talked about the Rover app last week. I yeah. was talking about it with Melanie. It's an app that promises to be like the Uber meets Airbnb of parking, where you could basically rent out your parking spot. So if I had a condo and my condo came with a parking spot, I could rent it for up to two dollars an hour uh, using an app and and you know if I was a driver I could click you know, the I king like it right it sounds like a great idea well of course our friends at the city of Toronto came down and said you know what this may not be that legal and apparently up to a thousand people have already downloaded the app it's seen a lot of success the app developers are saying that they're thinking about bringing this across the country but uh, apparently legality is coming back into question, just like Uber, just like Airbnb. And, this, and this, is, this is the thing. We're hearing a lot more about people trying to fight Uber on, on legal grounds as well. Uh, but, I mean, there's, there's this, this underground economy is becoming now I don't more even think it's underground. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, coming, it's coming up about, and, and especially through apps now, yeah. the underground economy is now out in the open. And the tax man wants his cut. And when it comes right down to it, that's what City Hall wants. They want their cut of all this stuff. And the latest chatter with Uber right now is that, you know, the city wants its HST. Or, or the federal government the federal, Rather, HST, the federal yeah. government wants the HST. They want their cut of money. But the reality is, you know, the, the people are taking matters into their own hands. We saw the crowdfunded transit. Remember the, mm -hmm. uh, what, what was it, Line 6 along King Street? That, yeah. that no longer exists. But, um, you know, uh, just all of these different alternatives solutions are popping up that uh, you know it's just a new time and cities have to take a look at how to adapt to those changing times. Oh, most definitely, most yeah. definitely. And we're not the only ones with the fight here when I was in San Francisco yeah. uh, and in Vancouver. The, the Uber guys were talking there as well. Uh, we used Uber from the airport but we could not get it at the arrival section. Yeah. They're not allowed to go into the no. arrival section. They're allowed, they can only go to the departure yeah. section. So I mean it, it's their change is coming. It's going to happen. So, like you say, it's up to the city and it's up to the federal government to adapt. Let, let's find a way to, to make it work because people are going to do it yeah. one way or the other. You know what else a lot of people are talking about? What? The Gastro uh, Busters app. It's an online reporting tool by, this, by the city of Toronto, Toronto Public Health. And it's causing a lot of controversy, I think, from a lot of restaurant owners. It's basically an online portal where, say I got food poisoning at this mom-and-pop restaurant down mm -hmm. the street, I can go on here and actually... Um, it's like the crime stoppers of, of restaurant food yeah. poisoning and you can say hey I was at this restaurant I got food poisoning and you anonymously report this what do they do with it they take the information and they investigate uh, you know your, your, your case but a lot of restaurant owners are saying that this opens the door to a lot of uh, if, if, if I had something and I had a bad experience. I could yeah. go online and report it. So it just opens the and door. How do for I know trouble. I got food poisoning from this restaurant? How you, do you really you don't know? know. You don't so know. I think that that's where a lot of the questions come in. But a lot of restaurants saying that the city of Toronto should take the site down. All right. Thank you very much, Winston. Here's Russ holding upstairs with a look at traffic.